Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I honestly just sat down this morning and filmed this, edited this video and uploaded it. Um, I decided to use purples and pinks and silvers today and I just wanted to do a halo smoky eye. So let's get on with this. I'm using soft ochre paint pot like always to prime my eyelids. You can see all my little veins on my eyelids. I like to just completely cancel them out. If you don't have veins, you can use an urban decay primer or just a light concealer, but I use soft ochre because it just gets rid of everything. Then I'm just gonna go in blonde from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to take this on my 228 Zoeva brush and I'm just going to pop this on top of soft ochre to basically dry it off and stop it from creasing when we've done our eyeshadow. I'm taking Buon Fresco from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to use my 228 crease brush to start blending this in. Because it is a halo look, um, you guys probably know by now that a halo look is the outer and inner corner darker but that center either a different color or much lighter. So I'm just going to go and basically only work this on the outer corner and then I'll go in in the inner corner and work this in. I like to use circular motions and then I almost sweep it towards the center just so some of that color is kind of going towards the center of the eyelid and it's not just totally just in that crease area on the outer corners if that makes sense. Because I wanted my crease to be a little bit warmer, I went in with this pink shade from the Sleek Eye Divine palette and I'm just putting a tiny little bit of this just kind of where we put that Buon Fresco colour. Just warms it up and gives the look a little bit more, I felt like it gave it a little bit more of a pop to the look but you could totally not put the pink there and just keep it just purples but I wanted that extra colour. <laughs> Then I'm taking Bitten by Makeup Geek and I'm going to go in with my 227 brush from Zoeva and pretty much do exactly the same thing that we did but just a little bit more tighter into the crease and because we've gone down, we've like downsized on the brush size that it just makes it more dense and it makes the colour kind of stand out so I always say the brushes do the work for you so we just downsize each colour that we choose. And then I'm using the same brush on the inner corner and the same kind of principle. So I'm going like little circular motions and then I'll sweep in towards the center of the eyelid just so we transfer some of that color towards the center. But most of that impact of color is right in the inner corner. Then I'm taking Beauty Mark by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm clearly having an Anastasia day. I did not mean to do this. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my 231 brush from Zoeva. And I'm going to do an almost C shape on the outer and inner corner with this brush. So I'm just going to use tiny little circular motions. And again, use my eyeball as like a stencil. So I'm pressing into my eyeball to make that C shape. Because the roundness of my eyeball is just helping me out there. <laughs> And then I'm doing exactly the same thing on the inner corner. And then I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Noir. Any black eyeshadow will do though guys. And I'm just going to take this on a Fruline little fluffy brush and make like a little circle just inside the C that we created before. Then I'll go in with my 227 brush with no additional product on it and just blend out that little circle. I just find it's an easier way to blend out black without it getting messy. And then on the inner corner I'm going to go in with my detail shader brush because it's just too tight there to put black. I didn't want to mess it up so I just used a smaller brush. Then next this is the star of the show. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Foil Eyeshadow in Pure Platinum. And I'm going to take my Lit Cosmetics Glitter Adhesive to kind of stick that onto my brush. So what I did was dip my brush in the adhesive and then dip it into the foil. And then I popped it onto my eyelid and it's stuck like this. Then just on the outer corners, I'm basically just turning my brush to the side and making little sweeping motions. So you don't have like a harsh 
dead stop line, you kind of feather it into the eyeshadow that we've done on the outer and inner corner. So it just kind of makes it look seamless and it doesn't look like a bold stop. And I've gone all the way up into my crease as well with that silver. Then I'm taking Eye of Horus, I think is how you call it, Horus, Eye of Horus. Um, they're um, felt tip liner, which I'm absolutely in love with, and I love their mascara also. I've used this mascara the other day on a night out, and I absolutely loved it. So I definitely check them out if you haven't already. Then just to make that eyeliner look a bit more seamless, I'm just going to blend out um, the outer corner with a little bit of noir or black eyeshadow. Then the first shade I'm using on my lower lash line is Buon Fresco, the first shade we used on the top eyeshadow. And I'm just going to blend this out all the way into the inner corner and join it up on the outer corner with the other eyeshadow. And I'm going to do a couple of coats of this because I want it to be quite smoky. And then I'm taking my big 228 brush. This is the Rose Gold Edition um, 228. And I'm taking a little bit of that pink shade again and blending it out. I'm using such a big brush because I really wanted it to be quite heavy and blended underneath. Then I'm taking Bitten from Make up geek again and I'm gonna blend this exactly the same all the way from the inner corner to outer corner with the same two three one brush then I'm taking a little bit of that black eyeshadow on my um, detail shader brush and I'm gonna put this on the inner corner and outer corner I'm just gonna smoke it out a little bit I didn't want it to be too dark or too heavy underneath I just wanted those outer corners to have a little bit more definition and then for the center bit of the lower lash line, I'm going to put a little bit more of that foil. The same thing, I used my Lit Adhesive and the same foil. Then I'm going in with my Rimmel London Gel Liner in black. And I'm just going to pop this on my waterline and tight line my eyes on top also. And I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. And I actually really like this one. I have stubby little eyelashes and it actually made them look like eyelashes. Rather than little toes. <laughs> but yeah, so I really like this and I really like the wand. So I'm taking my Vegas Nay Lashes in Shining Star and I've just popped them on with Duo Glue and my tweezers. So next for lips, I'm using the NYX or NYX, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm taking the Sugar Glass Liner and I'm just going to line my lips and overdraw them ever so slightly just in the center on the top and the bottom. And then next I'm going to go in and use their Soft Matte Lip Cream in London to apply it over the rest of my lips. I absolutely love this lip cream. It's now my favorite I honestly will wear it all the time we have a new NYX store by me so that's why I went in and bought so much anyway guys that's it for this tutorial I hope you have enjoyed this look please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and please subscribe click that button so until next time I'll see you soon bye